Good morning. Welcome to week four of online learning. Let's go ahead and open up the week of April 20th folder. All right, so we're going to do two different things this week. The first thing will be finishing up our elections and voting unit. So if you open up the to-do list, this will just give you an overview of what you should be doing each day. So today you're going to read about a history of voting rights and you'll have some questions to answer. Tomorrow you're going to complete lesson 10.2, your right to vote. Wednesday, uh, lesson 10.3, voting trends. Um, there is also a discussion board post on voter apathy. So there's a political cartoon and some questions to answer. You can do that any day um, this week but kind of get it done by Wednesday. Um, and it'll make more sense if you wait until Wednesday to do it, okay? Thursday, um, you're gonna start working on your second set of articles. There, uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And then Friday, we'll be finishing that up as well as finishing up any other work for the week that you haven't finished. And there is also a survey about service learning um, which I will show you guys as well. So let's go back to the folder. So the voter and voter behavior lesson 10.1, 10.2, 10.3 is here in this folder. So again, you're going to use the online textbook <clears throat> to um, find the information. Um, I will work on putting a copy of each chapter uh, in the folder as well. That's going to take me a little bit to do um, if you can't access the textbook, but you should be able to um, access it pretty easily uh, using the tiny URL backslash WCPS government. If you're trying to open it and it's not working, um, try a different browser. Last week when I was trying to use it, Firefox was working better than Chrome. So if you're trying to open it and it's not working, change your browser and see if that helps. Okay. And then down here is the discussion post. So if we open this up, you're going to see a political cartoon. And my computer is being slow today. All right, so here's the political cartoon. So, to so you guys talking, it says if the election were to be held today, what would your, what would be your excuse for not voting? And then your questions are down here at the bottom. You're just going to answer them. Uh, let's go back to the folder. <clears throat> so this green folder is going to be your second set of service learning articles. All right, so here is the assignment to turn in. The first link are the three articles that you're going to read. Um, the directions here, those are going to have all the guidelines for the questions that you need to answer. And then this document, how to set up your article searches, is just a review of how to set up your Word document and also how to do your citations, okay? So while you're working on this, if you have any questions, let me know. The last thing that you guys need to do is the service learning survey. This is going to help me uh, help you guys determine how we're going to complete our service learning requirements. So it's only four questions. Um, so the first one says, I have completed blank out of 20 hours. So if you had already done hours before March 13th, which was the last day we were at school, um, I want you to tell me how many hours you did, where did you do them, whether or not you have paperwork signed documenting your hours. And I know a couple of you had already given me your paperwork, so if you did that, just remind me. And if you did not get your paperwork signed, 
do you have a way to get the paperwork filled out? Can you email it? Can you fax it? Et cetera. Okay, so just answer those four questions um, just so I know where we are. And then that will determine how many of the at-home projects you're going to be completing. And I will be sharing more information uh, with you guys about that next week. Now that we know that as of right now, we're at home until May 15th. Okay. So once again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. My contact information is here on the top of the first page. Uh, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you very much for everyone that got their work turned in last week. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.